Today I'm going to be talking about my period panties that I bought from Maudie Body last year during my plastic free challenge. I'm going to be updating you on what it is like to have a pair of these after having been able to use them for a year. I already planned to do an update video one year later after buying these panties because there's things I've noticed after having them for a year that I didn't originally notice when I first bought them. And I've been getting a lot of questions on my previous video. If you haven't watched my first video, you can click the link in the corner and go check that out. And now I'm going to be talking about what it's like to own them after having had them for a year. And I'm going to be answering all the questions that people left in the comments. Um, a couple people were asking, what is it like? Have they stretched out? How do you wash them? And I will cover all of those in this video. First of all, I want to thank all of you who watched my video and who have left a comment on my original video. I super appreciate you guys. You guys are interactive and that just makes me happy to see that people are watching these and interested in the subjects that I'm covering. In my last video, you saw that I was pretty pleasantly surprised with these and that I planned to give up tampons and pads forever and I have not used a single one in a year, so that was actually true. Are these a better use of plastic or not? I think so, because I can wash these, and even though they're made of polyester and nylon, spandex, microfiber, which is all plastic, except for the merino wool, they also have merino wool. But most of the material that makes these is plastic so I had to take that into consideration but if you consider a regular period and I'm just gonna use the average uh, period as an example because everyone's is different some people have heavy some people have like basically nothing so average let's say we'll go with this according to a menstrual cup website the average number of tampons used for periods is about 20 per period. The average period is 4 days and 5 tampons per day, which is 20 tampons per period, according to a reusable menstrual cup website. So that's the average, and that's how much plastic you would be throwing away if you were using the tampon applicators, for example, plus the wrapper, or with pads, the wrapper, and then the wrapper that goes on the sticky part, and then of course, if any of the material that makes a pad is plastic, there's that as well. I think this definitely saves plastic because this looks less than 20 tampons worth of plastic, and it's one. Um, I have four of these that I change and then I just wash them if I need more, if my period's longer. So that's one, two, three, four periods, and these have lasted a year. So let's just for example purposes, I really think this is less than 20 tampons worth of plastic, but just for example purposes we'll say one period panty is 20, is the same as the... 20 tampons, 20 tampons, we'll just say that, okay? We'll say this is made of 20 tampons, that's what we're gonna do. So, if that were the case, that would mean that if I own four of these panties, then I have, that's four periods worth of plastic, but I've used these for a year, which means they definitely use less plastic than the average number of tampons or pads that a girl uses on her period. So they definitely reduce the amount of plastic, whether or not they're plastic free, definitely not because the material is plastic. However, they definitely are less than what you would use if you were doing something like that. The only thing with this is that it's been a year now and I've gotten to reuse these, but the elastic in them is really like starting to get loose. So I feel like these don't last forever, obviously, I mean, when would it, but I kind of was hoping that 
I wouldn't need a new one in a year. And I think the average woman, I will use things until they are like ready, but I think the average woman would get ready to start replacing these after about a year because the elastic in them has gotten a lot looser. So even though I actually bought the ones that are seamless, like they're starting to show some kind of a seam because they're so loose, they get a little, um, you know, they get a little bit wadded up when you put pants over top of them. So the elastic's going in them, they're getting a little bit loose, which also makes me nervous when I'm at night because if it shuffles around, you know, there could be leaks or something like that. But in general, I have not noticed any leaks with these. They've been perfect and it's been amazing being able to have a period and not have to open up like a nasty tampon or, or pull a nasty tampon out or open up like pull down your pants to go to the bathroom and have to look at that nasty mess so the fact that these are black has been awesome because it sh just covers everything you really get to see a lot less blood during your whole period so I am still raving about these even though I wish that the elastic had lasted longer I did follow the washing instructions I gentle cycled them and I um, line dried them but they're still getting really loose after a year of wearing them so in general i definitely still recommend these and i definitely think they would re dramatically reduce the amount of plastic we use when we have a period um, but again there's also other options they i don't really personally want to try because I was never a fan of tampons, so I just don't really feel like the menstrual cup or that new thing that's like a circle, I don't remember what that is. I don't think that those are the option for me. I'm going to continue using these, and I'll probably just buy some more when I can't stand how loose these are anymore. But to each their own, there's definitely options out there to dramatically reduce the number of the amount of plastic you use and I definitely recommend going for this because this is one of the easy changes you can make because honestly not only does it reduce the plastic amount or your plastic footprint it also is a lot more comfortable than the generic stuff that we usually use for our periods so ladies get to work get on Mari body order yourself a pair of these or go get yourself a menstrual cup you don't have to wear tampons and pads anymore, guys. Like, this is so 1990s. Like, let's go. Let's move on. We're in 2020. We've got new options now. They're just as comfortable, if not more comfortable. They're just, they're way cleaner and easier to use. And there's no reason for us to even need tampons or pads anymore. So, chop chop, ladies. Highly recommend these still to this day, even though they might need to be replaced after a year. They're still a great option and way less plastic than you would use otherwise. So, enjoy! So to answer your questions, Corinna asked, how is the sizing? Do you feel like you need to size up or was it pretty accurate? I think Mari Body was pretty accurate. I think I ordered a medium, which is what I usually wear in a lot of different clothing brands. So, um... I can't remember if they had a sizing chart or not, but whatever it was, was pretty accurate for me. And I for forgive me if I'm pronouncing any of these wrong, I am doing my best without a pronunciation guide here. Um, Ihal I Nance asked if I wash them in a laundry bag or just wash everything with the rest of my laundry. And they said they read that you could help maintain them by putting them in a laundry bag. Yes, Mari Body does suggest washing them in a laundry bag so that they're protected and then hang drying them instead of putting them through the dryer, which I have done for the entire um, time that I've owned these. Um, Madaluz Estilo de Vida, they asked I would like to know about your experience with the panties for this year. How deteriorated are they? Did they need to buy more? Would you recommend them still? That's exactly what this video is all about today. So I hope this video has answered that question for you so far. Um, just to recap, it's been a great experience. I haven't had any issues with leaks. They have gotten a little bit looser in terms of elastic, so I 
would consider buying some other ones soon because it makes me a little uncomfortable having these loose panties on that are supposed to catch blood. <laughs> But um, I would still recommend them. I just I just love the idea of not having to have pads or tampons. It's just fantastic, and they're super comfortable. They feel just like panties, so I would still recommend them for sure. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button below. And if you're enjoying my videos, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss another one. And share everything with your friends!